wearing it out i literally just had um a quick body shower we came back from our boat tour not that long ago and it was actually really good wasn't it yeah i mean it wasn't like exclusive or like barely anyone on it but there wasn't that that many people on it and to be honest the actual ferry to capri was like 80 euros i think like for a return and this was 60 euros and we obviously like got the trip to Capri, then stayed in Capri for like five hours, then you come back to the boat and then you do a tour and they show you like all these things. So, I mean, I feel like you can't really go wrong with that, can you? On the way there, it was pretty uh, choppy. And it was a bit like, oh my God. I didn't even get seasick, but I was a bit like, by the end I was like, okay, I need to get off this boat now. But on the way home it was fine, so I think maybe it was just like less windy on the way home. I'm ready to go out for dinner. We've got this film on Netflix, which we've been putting on like every night when we come back from dinner and drinks. And it's called Love in the Villa. And the, you can see how not far we've got into this film because we literally just fall asleep every single time we put it on. We're hoping that maybe by the end of the holiday, we might have watched the whole film, but it's like the most cheesy 
Netflix film ever. It's just, it's just so funny. But it's set in Italy, so obviously it felt very apt at the time. Uh, so yeah, gonna get changed now and get ready to go to a restaurant, which I can't remember what it's called, um, but it looks really nice. Got black up top, the white and cream at the bottom, and then the black at the bottom. It's winning! And as you can see, I have a little bikini poking out of here because we're doing our first like swim activity today. We're walking to this like swim spot. It's kind of like a little lagoon. It looks so, so cute. I think it's like a 40 minute walk away. I'm gonna go now, grab some breakfast, grab a sandwich and some snacks and things like that to take with us. And then go for a swim. See you guys there. made it eventually <laughs> we had to walk like all the way over all of these rocks with our bags and stuff so it was pretty hard but we got there in the end and now we've just put our bags down and we're gonna go in the water because it's very very hot just got up um, to this really cool cliff face um, after being down there in the pool. It was so cool, but wow, let me tell you, it is not accessible. We had a few cuts, we had a few bruises, some near falls. Getting there is really not easy with the rocks, but I would say it's worth it. We also saw this girl who dived in and she hit a rock and so she'd like split her nose here. Anyway, the view is beautiful. Look at that. Actually unreal. You can see Mount Vesuvius. Hi guys, been a while since we updated you. It was a bit of a whirlwind, like whistle stop, get ready before we went to our cooking class when we got back from the the cove. Tried to get some videos out of the cooking class. It was really cool. We got picked up from a train station by our the person who was like running it. And it was so cool, like we went to, it's basically at their family home. They have this like amazing family home which overlooks this like incredible view. He said like 11 people in his family live there and it's been passed down through generations. Um, yeah, they basically have been running these cooking classes for years and him and his sister currently run them. And yeah, it was just really cool. Like he was so nice and just so funny and like really upbeat 
um, constantly and he was like constantly making jokes and just like being really really funny. It was a really wholesome and nice evening. We're gonna go to sleep now because we're going to Positano in the morning. So night guys. It is the next day and we're off to Positano today. Let's go. We have arrived in Positano. We just got the bus here. Look at this view. It's crazy. So stunning. We're just trying to find the way down now. Should we go? We got the bus home. Oh my god, waiting for the bus was like the hottest thing ever. We were literally dying in the sun and the first bus came and we couldn't fit on so we had to wait like again for another one. Um, but we made sure we got on that one so yeah, it was a very hot sweaty end to the day but it was such a nice place. It was like a really really nice day trip and relatively easy to get to apart from you know missing the buses and things like that and now we're back and got changed been just like chilling in the room for a while and we're gonna go out for dinner i love this dress and i've been waiting to wear it again this holiday it's long slip dress and i've just got this shirt over it in case i get cold and i got my trainers on so yeah see you guys at dinner <laughs> I don't know if it's a bit loud in here. We've got a really nice day planned. We're just gonna really chill today because I feel like we've done a lot this holiday. And we're gonna go to one of the piers that is like the makeshift beaches. And honestly, just spend the day there. I was just gonna hire the sunbed, spend the day there. And then tonight we have a really special dinner planned. It's booked at the uh, like lemon garden restaurant. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it's so pretty and just the perfect setting to end the holiday on. because apparently it's like the single best sandwich shop in 
Sorrento. Country of the world. <laughs> well, well, we haven't tried the sandwiches yet, but they look absolutely amazing. And the uh, shop was so, so cute. And the queue was really long, so it clearly is like, you know, a famous place. And people kept turning up and being like, oh yeah, this is it, this is it. So it was obviously like, you know, pretty big deal. What's it called? Amarena. Amarena. Um, so yeah, very excited to eat these. Mine has burrata in it, so you can't really go wrong. And it's also got truffle in it, so you definitely can't go wrong with that. We'll give you sandwich update when we eat them. sandwiches out of 10 I'd say a 9 yeah I'd say pretty high it was really good mine was so messy but so nice but I've got most of it on my hands yeah <laughs> but yeah it's better to get the Perusio bread I don't think that's how you say it no neither do I but <laughs> that's how it's spelled in my head so. yeah anyway <clears throat> top tier hi guys last evening in Sorrento and we're just running out now. It looks like it's dark outside but we've just shut the shutters. We're going out for dinner and I'm wearing this dress which I got from Zara a while ago and I haven't been able to wear it yet and I'm not gonna lie it was touch and go as to whether it would actually zip up with all the pasta I've eaten this week but we managed to get it zipped up. So we're gonna go for a drink at the bar and hopefully catch the sunset now. See you guys in a sec. I just realised we didn't make the bed. We're, uh, we're leaving. Well, we've still got the day here, but we're leaving our little apartment. We just had like a mini panic because one of the souvenirs I bought um, had accidentally been thrown away by the cleaner, but luckily they found it. So it's all good. Adios, room. We finally got ourselves an arancini. We set, oh, straight in there. <laughs> We've been saying the whole holiday we're gonna get one of these mm. and we still haven't got it So we got it on the last day. It's like these really nice rice no, pasta. Oh pasta ball things anyway, they're really nice. Exactly. What's in this one? Broccoli, sausage and cheese, and cheese. Mm. Also picked up some souvenirs, but we're so picky with our souvenirs aren't we? We'll be like mm, Let's come back <laughs> But we actually need to get some today Right, we um, we just had lunch and now we're just sat on this bench. We've literally just had a laughing fit for like 10 minutes because it's not even funny, but like some guy just like bumped into Josh by accident. <laughs> it was like the biggest. <laughs> it's gonna set me off again. It was like the biggest. Like it was. <laughs> Basically, he played it off like he just knocked me, but he, he flew into me full force. With a like, massive, oh, with a massive red. And he took me out. Oh my gosh, I'm literally crying. Oh, anyway, we've got our souvenirs, got loads of souvenirs, and got the rest of our pizza because we got so full. Cool. Yeah, 
we're just, just sitting here for a bit. Not long now until we have to get the bus. Sad times. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> really hungry and I, I feel like eating so much this week has stretched my stomach so I'm gonna have this as my dinner. 